Okay, so let's learn how we can create some leaves that are blowing in the wind in Blender. And if you can like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And let's just um, get into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to have is some leaves. So let's just go to this uh, pngag.com. It's a free site that you can just search for leaves here and you can download it for free and uh, when that is done we can just go back into blender and we can go shift a and go mesh and plane we can scale it up like that we can go into top view by clicking seven so i'm just going to turn on my screencast keys and uh, now we can bring in this uh, transparent leave image onto this planer so let, let's uh, change the timeline into the shader editor and click this uh, plus symbol here and we can go shift a and bring in an image texture node and just open and just locate the folder with the leave like this and now we can bring the color into the base color of the principal BSDF and the alpha into the alpha. So now if we go into, we can change the mode into the shading mode. And we can see that the, this image here still has some black background around it. And the way to remove that is to go to material properties down to this settings section and change the blend blend mode from opaque to alpha blend or alpha clip like that so now we have a transparent uh, leaf we can just move it a little bit to the side and we can bring in a camera i'm just going to set the rotation to zero here Rotate it around, move it on the right. I'm just going to camera view by clicking zero. And now we can bring in a new plane. We're gonna place it on the side here, like that. And this is gonna be our particle emitter or a plane that will create uh, leaves. So let's just click on the plane here and go into particles properties click this plus icon here and the first thing we can do is set the end to 1000 so we have some frames to work with and also if we go to the timeline and just set the end here as well to 1000 let's set the lifetime to 800 let's open up the render tab here and change this from halo to object and we're going to use the eyedropper tool and select a leaf now if we play this you can see that we just have leaves falling straight down like this so we need to make some change of the gravity so just click on the plane go down to field weights and turn this gravity all the way down like that so now we're gonna we having some leaves coming in here from the side but they all have the same rotation so let's fix that as well so let's just check this box for rotation open it up set this randomize all the way up like that we can also change the scale a little bit and a little extra tip here is um, to hold on shift whenever you're working with particle systems that will give you more control and we can also set the scale the randomness all the way to up to one now we're having some leaves coming in from the side um, but we want them to be floating on the wind, not coming in in a linear way like this. So 
we can make them float as well. So the way to do that is to go shift A and go and open up this force field. And here we have a bunch of different uh, wind effects that we can use. Uh, but we are going to go with this um, turbulence. And we can open up the physics of this uh, turbulent wind effect. We can set the strength to 0 0.5. And while we add it, we can also go and change the surroundings. So turn on ambient bloom and screen, go to world and to color and to sky texture and set strength to 0 0.3 like that. And if you go into render mode now, you can see that we are having some leaves coming in from the side in a nice loading way like that and what you can do here is also maybe bring the speed just a little bit down to so click on the plane go into particle system and open up the physics and also the integration and here if you set this time step number to a lower amount you will turn down the speed you set it to a higher amount the speed will increase. So yes, let's just put that to 0 0.02. Then, okay, so yeah, so that was obviously way too slow. So let's do 0 0.03 like that. And whenever this particle system is hicking up, you can just reset it to the first frame like that and you probably will be fine so now we have some leaves coming in from the side with a nice sort of like wavy flow to it and what we can do now is also bring in our image background so let's just uh, bring in a new plane go to the shader editor click on new Bring in an image texture node, open that up, locate a folder, and just connect the color into the base color and the alpha into the alpha. And yeah, I think that's fine. And now we can just rotate it around. And what we can do is uh, actually open up this emission here and bring this into the uh, emission color instead like that so now we can set this to a little higher amount 0 0.2 oh, do, do, do. Yeah, so let's just plug that out and bring it from the color into the base color and the color into the color of the mission like that. And now you can control the strength of the light there in the middle. So now we have our animation. And this looks pretty cool. So if you learn something, Please consider to subscribe, have a great day wherever you are and peace out.